Like any laser, after a while soot and contaminants can build up on your lens and your mirrors decreasing your machine's performance, especially if you're cutting lots of volatile or unusual materials. It's easy to clean the lens on the Mirror Redline series of lasers and it should be done at least once every 40 hours or so. You just need a Phillips screwdriver, a 10mm socket wrench, cable ties, some washing detergent, an old sock, a plumbus and a disco ball. No, you need none of those things. Make sure your machine is turned off at the mains and the tool head is somewhere nice and easy for you to get to, uh, so you may need to lower the bed. Now put something soft down underneath the tool head just in case you drop something. Ideally something like a lint-free cloth. Slide the lens housing out with your fingers and just a gentle wiggle. It's all held in place with magnets. There's a white retaining ring keeping the lens in place. Just carefully pull this out and then pop the lens out, taking care to make sure you touch it mostly on the edges. Blow away any major debris using an air blower. Uh, they do actually give you one with the laser. Then using some regular isopropanol alcohol, at least 90% and a Q-tip uh, or lens wipe, just make a sweeping motion from left to right just to clean off the lens. If you have any real stubborn marks, you may also need to use a bit of acetone. And if your lens is broken or chipped or damaged in some way, you probably should replace it. Put the lens back in, make sure it's the correct way up. Looking at it from the top down, you should be able to see your reflection the right way up. Just like looking into a tiny mirror and then just pop the retaining ring back in too. Slide the lens carriage back into the tool head, power up your machine and do a quick test. Perfect, why not follow me for more laser tips?